Welcome to Cage Minds. I'm Micah Frankel. It's Fight Week for Fight World MMA 20, taking place at the Fit NHB Martial Arts Complex here in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Going to be stepping in the cage for the second time and joining us right now. Gio Sada, how you doing, sir? Doing good, sir. How you doing? I'm great. Pleasure to talk to you. So let's get started. We're talking about you. And, and what's the story? How, how do we get to where we are? How do we get to you preparing for an MMA fight? Um, I always loved fighting. I used to fight a lot when I was a kid, you know, in school and stuff like that. I used to get in trouble a lot. But then one day I decided, like, you know, if I love to do this, if, if there's a way for me to not get in trouble for it. So then I started training boxing. Never had a boxing match. Never, but I just trained it because I loved it. And then um, I came down here because of the Air Force. And uh, my buddy told me there was an MMA gym. And I was like, yeah, I'm going to start training MMA. And then now we're just second fight in two months. So now we're waiting till Saturday. What you say? It's about three to four years of training boxing? Yes, sir. What was all that training like? Um, it was actually tough for me. For a couple of years, because going from just, you know, backyard fighting, just brawling and stuff like that to actually learning techniques and learning how to actually fight, like really fight for real. It was tough for me. And uh, but I, I started picking it up, especially with my new gym that I'm at now. I'm, I'm, I'm doing really good. We're really getting better than what we used to be. And you already mentioned it. Uh, then we should thank you for your service. Uh, I appreciate in, you. Yeah, they're in Alamogordo, part of the Air Force. What was that decision like? I decided, hey, I'm going to try something new, something that nobody's done in my family so far. So, yeah, I'm just trying to be a, an influence for my younger siblings and stuff like that. So they can look at me and be like, oh, look what he's doing. I'm going to follow in his footsteps. And not enough on your plate already. MMA sounded like a fun hobby to take up on the side. Yes, sir. Of course. I love it. What kind of inspires you to to go after this dream, this sport? Just love doing it. You know, when you have a passion for something, you're, you're going to get up and you're going to do it. You're going to wake up at two in the morning to go run outside just because, hey, I got a fight coming up. You know what I'm saying? It's just the love. My passion for, for fighting is what really drives me to, you know what I'm saying? Like, be here. Like, this MMA, MMA is the hardest thing I've ever done. When I go to the gym, when we train, it's the hardest thing. There's no, there's nothing easy given. But when you have, when you, when you really find a passion for something, you love something, you're going to, you're going to strive for it. And that's, that's what I'm doing now. I love fighting. I love my gym. I love all my coaches. So when we go in there, then, you know, all that love and passion, and the hard work, it reflects from when we get in the fight, in the cage. MMA, you've already said a couple of times, you love doing it. What were those first couple practices like? Oh, my God. Those first couple practices were hard. A lot of conditioning, a lot of learning the technique, a lot of frustration for me because, again, going from boxing, there's a lot of techniques that you don't learn in boxing. You don't learn jujitsu in boxing. You don't learn how to kick in boxing. You don't learn that kind of stuff. So it, it was like throwing me deep in the water again. And I was like, damn, I'm starting to back from the beginning. But my coaches, like I said, they're great. So – you know, they, they supervise me and they help me and they, they, they take care of me. And now, like I said, we're waiting on Saturday to showcase it all. How did you get from three, four years boxing training and you didn't take a fight at that point to three months of MMA training and you're looking at a second fight already? My coaches give me the confidence. You know, they told me they were like, hey, you know, usually we don't, you know, we don't, we, they don't just put anybody in the octagon. They're not going to just run in the ring. They're not going to just put anybody in there. They, they feel like I'm skilled and worthy enough to go in there and defend myself and, you know, put a show. So that's what they, they told me to do. They said, hey, they was like, you want to fight? I was like, hell yeah, I want to fight. Where's the contract at? So, yeah. So every time, every time there's a fight available and if, if, there, if I have nothing going on with Air Force life related, then I'm going to take the fight every time. Obviously, it's a lot of challenge, the Air Force, that lifestyle. And then even the hobby, you're taking on a challenge. So you're somebody that goes after and embraces these challenges? Yes, sir. Of course. I'm determined. Determined to be great.
determined to be great. So that that's there's a, a, a big focus just overall for the passion of the success that you want to have in life. I just want to be great. I want to be an example for all everybody else. You know, like I said, that watch like my little brothers, my sisters. And also just, I want my family and my parents to be proud of me. Like they raised me. They look at my son is actually doing something in this world. So me being in the Air Force, that's, that was one of my dreams that I accomplished. And I've always told my parents, like, I want to be a fighter one day. And look, now I'm a fighter. So that's two goals that I've accomplished. So it's like, it's just being a, it's just being a role model and just setting the example for my little brothers and sisters. And also just so that my parents, so I can make sure that they're taken care of for the rest of their life, you know? That's what, that's what, that's where I'm at right now. That's what drives me every day. And there's a lot of people that, that they go into the gym the first day and, and man, it's the worst they've ever felt before. It's almost like you cheated because you have the air force. So they already have you in this really great shape when you walk in there. <laughs> yeah, I was in shape for the, for, for, for PT test for air force standards, but that pushups and sit-ups isn't going to help you become a better MMA fighter. So it's, it's just kind of a different thing. We go in there, we, we run, we condition, we work on abs, we work on a lot of techniques. So yeah, the Air Force, I was in shape with them because of, like I said, the PT test that we do, but push-ups and sit-ups and running a mile and a half isn't really going to make you the best MMA fighter. From New Jersey, you come out to Alamogordo, New Mexico. Did you expect it was going to be possible to start following this fighter journey? Um. I didn't honestly when I found out about the gym I didn't I didn't know that they were they that they signed the contracts to fight and stuff I thought it was just gonna be like oh you know we just train and that's it but when I found out I was like yeah I want to fight I, the first day that I walked in I told my head coach I said coach I don't know what it takes because this is my first time I don't know what I have to do what hells I have to run through but I'm doing I'm willing to do whatever it takes to fight and I told him the first day I was like coach I want to fight and he was like, yeah, you know, that's fine, but you got to – first we have to we have to train you. We have to make sure – I won't put you in there if I don't think you're not ready for it. So, yeah. Desert Dynasty MMA under yes, Anthony sir. Hudson. Yes, sir. That's the big dog. Now, real quick. Now, Coach is going to see this, but uh, tell me a little bit about his style. Coach Anthony's style, we work, we work hard. No – Nobody works harder than Desert Dynasty MMA. I'll tell you that right now. Nobody works harder than us. We work hard. We work hard, hard, hard. The trainings that we do, everything is calculated. Everything has a plan. There's a reason for everything. Even if I ask them, like, yo, coach, why is this a certain way? There's always a reason why. There's never, I'm just doing this just because. There's always a reason why we do the things we do. And like I said, nobody trains harder than us. Nobody trains harder than us. When when you when we step in the gym, we know we know what time it is. Me and all my other coaches, all my teammates, we know it's time to go to work. We're not coming in here to mess around and play around. We're we're coming. We can save that for the end. But when we go in there, we work hard. We work on everything we have to do, even from weight cutting. Just everything is is a, is a plan. There's nothing that's not planned, like unplanned. Everything. There's a reason why uh, Coach Hudson does everything the way he does. Saturday night, we get to see an action at Fit NHB. It's Fight World MMA 20, and we're going to see Giovanni Rosada against Thomas Bu. Sir, is there a last message for the fans, for the supporters? Thank you, thank you for everybody for tuning in. I'm ready to fight. I'm ready to put out a show for everybody. This fight is going to be a totally different fight from the last fight. I won't say too much. You guys will just have to tune in and watch.